Well, hello. New project. Got a Ford Ranger. Uh, there is a little, a little engine in here. Kind of a turd. Definitely not running real good. It's uh, the 2.3 four-cylinder. So this is just the basic regular cab, bare minimum, inside and out. This one's kind of beat up. I did end up getting two, but this one was the worst of the two and it actually ran. So I'm gonna take the engine out of this, combine it with the engine of the other one and see if I can get one to work. But this one is gonna end up getting a turbo, probably from this guy with this guy. So this is a all aluminum 5.3, got out of a 2005 Trailblazer. This is a newly remanned engine, which you can tell from these plugs here on both the heads in case you overheat it. <clears throat> There's also a rebuild sticker on the front. So that's awesome. So I found this in the junkyard. I think we're looking at, you know, 350 bucks total. Um, so this is the first step. So we got to take this engine out and see that's not it where is it there it is i take this engine out and see why number four cylinder is dead because i did a compression test on the last cylinder there and uh not in good shape so i'll keep you posted interesting there's a hole in one of the valves a literal chunk missing out of the valve yeah this is gonna go right back together sweet here let me show you so if you look there's a chunk missing out of that was that an exhaust valve? That is, that is an exhaust valve. Wow, gross. The news is, I have another engine. So the other Ranger came with an engine that was half torn apart, and I don't know why. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all this stuff cleaned up, I'm gonna pull that one in here, we're gonna pull that engine out, and then see if we can make one good one out of all these parts. So, thanks for hanging. We'll get you when I start working on the next one. Okay, bye. All right, here we are. We have Ranger number two up, and we are trying to do a compression test here. This is the first cylinder. Got my handy dandy starter button. Just wired up down to the starter. Not making it complicated. Got a battery here. Let's see what she does. Not a good sign. All right, so we had zero on cylinder one, cylinder two, let's see. One fifty. Well, one forty. All right, cylinder number two. And cylinder number four. across the board except for number one okie dokie so here we are trying to figure out why cylinder number one has no compression got a leak down tester Let's see if i can get this thing on with one hand that would be kind of amazing hold so we got over 100 going in 100 on the nose 10 going out very clearly going out the exhaust 
So because we have compression in cylinder number two, I'm going to guess that cylinder number one probably has a bad valve or two. Um, yeah, most likely the problem. So I'll take the head off. All right, and we got the valve cover off. Just want to verify that all the buckets and everything look okay. There's not like, you know, a cam broken half or something or it's out of time, um, which still really wouldn't cause <laughs> some of these issues. Anyways, uh, everything looks okay. You know, it's been taken care of. That's a pretty clean engine. All things considered, it is a Ford Ranger. Um, so I think the next step is we'll just pull the head off, look at the valves. I could probably fit a boroscope in there, um, but where I need to see is going to be kind of hard to get the angle because um, I need to see up and not down. Uh, anyway, so yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's see what's wrong with this engine. So when I got the head off, you may have noticed I spent a little extra time looking in the cylinder um, because I noticed there was a little bit of wear on top. You know, that's kind of indicative of something touching the piston slightly, possibly. So that's not great. Uh, all the other cylinders look fine, by the way. Fine enough, I suppose. Um, and then I turned the motor over to see what the, so the cylinder walls look like, and it didn't move. So the connecting rod is totally broken in the front cylinder. You can see pieces of it there. There's a piece right there I tried to fish out, but it got stuck. I'm sure there's extra damage. I may or may not open it. This is going to be a core engine for the 5.3 I have over on the floor. So I don't really care about the condition. Um, essentially, what I need out of it at this point is one exhaust valve. So the cylinder that contacted the piston is this top one here and you can see there's definitely some interesting wear marks on it they're probably bent but i don't know for sure but all i need is you know one of these good ones so i'll end up pulling that out putting this motor back together with a couple bolts and then this one i'll spend the extra time on do it right and uh put a valve in it and off it goes it's definitely the dirtier of the two but you know what they say if it's leaking oil it's got oil this one Certainly a bit cleaner. The block's probably salvageable, but not by me. So that's the story. This one has air conditioning. It's 2003. This is very nice Ranger uh, as far as, okay, that's like the worst part. Uh, very nice Ranger as far as this year goes um, and definitely compared to the other one. So it definitely would be nice to get an engine in here that runs good. Um, so that'll be the next video. We'll get the engine put back together and then we'll slap it in. And then we'll just, uh, we'll daily this thing for a little while until we get that one and the other one. Cool. Thanks. Hi there, it's me. Um, 
I'm dragging at this point and I put a wiring harness above where it should have went and not below. So I had to take it all back out, run it around the other way so that it would reach. So that's definitely extended this, uh, this endeavor, um, getting really close. I mean, at this point, it's ignition, uh, intake, fuel system, a couple of miscellaneous plugins, maybe a belt, fan, a couple extras, uh, and then it's ready to start. But at this point, it's been a long day. So, hope you're enjoying the show. Get back with you when it's done. Alexa, resume. All right, here we are, 10.30 at night. We are 90% done putting in the motor. Um, this is the one that just got a new valve and basically nothing else, just a refresh. The battery is in. I've already checked the fuel system. It seems like it's holding pressure, so let's just give it a start. So this is something interesting I noticed. Just the last person put multicolored like LEDs or something in this thing. Anyways, let's see if we get the clutch in here. good enough for me okay so uh there's your first start everything sounds fine no weird ticks or anything like that at least not yet uh i did have oil pressure so the weird exhaust leak is probably because i don't have the oxygen sensor in it like i said it's late so and it's been a really long day so tomorrow i will get back out here i'll get it all buttoned up we'll get a uh, radiator in it some coolant a few extras that uh, might be required and then we will give it a start thanks Good morning. So I'll keep this short. Worked late last night and got the truck started. Sounded great. I left the oxygen sensor out. So it had a big exhaust leak. So I'll put that in and do the little odds and ends. Put the hood back on and we'll take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching. Hello. So, update. I just took it for a test drive. It actually runs pretty good. I think there may be a few issues. I had two trouble codes. They're currently off. I was able to plug in my wireless ODB into my phone, cleared the codes, but the coolant temp is reading super high, 228, um, which is weird because it looks normal on the dash. Um, otherwise, the clutch feels okay. It might need bled. It's it's pretty it's pretty loose. Um, it stops smoking for the most part. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's still smoking a little bit. I don't know if that's um, valve guides. I don't know if that's residual in the exhaust. When I took it out and drove it, it did stop smoking for a little while. Maybe I'm lying. So anyways, that's the update. Uh, the bad news, the radio flies out. This thing is not attached, so that kind of sucks. I'll have to fix that. Um, but otherwise, you know, it runs, so that's cool and there's no really weird noises. So we'll just keep on trucking. <laughs> 